What's going on guys? It's Zach Codd. I'm back in the kitchen today and what I'm going to be covering is meal prep essentials. Now whether you're into bodybuilding, powerlifting, or you just have a goal that focuses on fitness and nutrition, meal prepping is a super useful tool. Now don't get me wrong, I don't want to eat every single one of my meals out of Tupperware, but the consistency that meal prep can offer you I think is super valuable. It can't be replaced by anything else, especially if you work a job where you can't go home and make lunch uh, or, or make your meals at home all the time or if you have a really busy schedule. Uh, so for me, I, I leave my house around seven o'clock every morning and I don't get back until five o'clock. So I don't have a chance to make lunch for myself and I, and I Going out for every meal really doesn't fit my budget or my fitness goals. So meal prepping is an essential if you have goals that you want to accomplish. Again, I'm starting another video without any of my ingredients out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab those real quick. As you can see, I've got quite the spread here. The way that I like to do meal prep is I don't like to prep everything out on Sunday. Uh, what I prefer to do is just make everything, put each individual type of food in its own container, and then just the night before I go to work, pack it that way. So that's what I like to do. If you guys prefer to do it any other way, that's fine. I just find this to be way less stressful because whenever I'm cooking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whenever I'm cooking 10 things at one time, it gets to be a little much. So let me run through what we've got here. Okay, so we have uh, one pound of 93.7 grass-fed ground beef. Uh, I love ground beef. I also have a pound of 93.7 ground turkey. And something I, f I found that was interesting was this ground beef is lower in fat than the ground turkey, which usually you see it the other way around but I thought that was interesting. Uh, as far as other protein sources go, I have uh, two things of boneless, skinless chicken breast here, and then uh, four thinly sliced pork chops. Now for the carb sources, gotta love carbs, right? So I have two different types of potatoes here. I have uh, these baby gold potatoes, uh, whatever they are, and then some huge sweet potatoes. So I love uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, I love regular potatoes, but I prefer sweet potatoes. And then also uh, some basmati, basmati rice, uh, whatever, however you however you pronounce it. Um, something that's a lot easier to do is get prepackaged rice, but I wouldn't recommend that because the sodium counts are super high and you just can't control it as as well as you can with this. And then as far as veggies go, I have some Baby Bella mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are one of my favorite vegetables. I recently introduced them to my diet and I love them. And then some asparagus. Now I've also got uh, some broccoli and butternut squash uh, that's frozen uh, just to kind of keep its its longevity. I know it's, it's not great for flavor and all that, but uh, I keep that frozen, so I'll get that out whenever we actually get to cooking. Uh, and then I also have broccoli slaw and spinach in the fridge. And I don't have to meal prep those, but those play a big role in the meals that I put together. So I usually have a salad every day with one of those. Uh, chicken, rice, mushrooms, and uh, some potatoes in there. So that's an example, and I'll give you guys, I'll show you guys some example examples of some of the things that I eat later on. But, let's get cooking. All right guys, so the first thing that we have to do is turn on, our, turn on our oven and get our pans out so we can actually get ready to cook this stuff. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Boom, all right. So the oven is preheating. I like to preheat it up to uh, 425 and then we've got four pans here. We're gonna need more than that, uh, even with all the stuff that we're gonna be putting in the oven. My, I also meal prep for my mom. Uh, I'm working as her nutrition coach right now, so I'm kind of helping her through uh, some of her weight loss goals. So I meal prep for her for work as well. Uh, it, 
She loves it uh, because she doesn't have to worry about running out or coming home. She works about five minutes from our house, but still getting out of the office and coming home to make something, uh, it, it's pretty stressful. So meal prep has helped both of us work towards our goals in unfathomable ways. All right, guys, the next thing we got to do is cut up our meats and our potatoes and our veggies so that we can actually cook them. It's crazy how much prep there is in meal prep, but it's all worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through me uh, cutting these bad boys up. All right guys, sorry about that, my camera died. All you really missed was me cutting up some vegetables um, and some pork, but I've got four things in the oven right now. Regular potatoes, sweet potatoes, my pork down there, and then the chopped up asparagus and mushrooms are in there. I like to do things in the oven, that way I don't have to take care of it. I just, try, I just make sure it doesn't burn. And then up here in a second, we're gonna have chicken going here, uh, ground beef going here, and some rice going there. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting on the ground turkey uh, because it's still a little bit frozen, uh, but as soon as that is thawed up, I'm gonna throw that on there as well. Okay guys, so while some of our stuff cooks up, I just wanted to address something. There's not really a secret to uh, meal prep. It's really just combining a bunch of things together that you like. Uh, one thing I will show you is the spices that I really like to use. So for veggies, uh, I pretty much just put some grounded black peppercorn and garlic powder on them. And then for meat, depending on the meat, uh, I will also add onion powder. And in my ground beef, ground bison, ground turkey, all of that, I like to add some uh, Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning. This stuff is awesome. It's sweet, but it's got a little bit of a kick to it. And then on salads and stuff like that, I like to add uh, Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. If you guys have a Trader Joe's nearby, I would recommend picking both of these up, especially if you like kind of spicier things, I would recommend the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning blend. Another thing that I like to use is uh, coconut oil spray. Um, this is also from Trader Joe's. So just a couple seconds on, on there. I will slap some chicken on there. Okay guys, so everything is cooking up right here. There's not really much uh, for me to talk about right now, not much for me to really show you. Everything's gonna take about 30 minutes to cook up, but whenever I come back, I will show you two examples of some meal prep combinations, one of which is something that I'm actually going to be eating for lunch today, and then the other one is what I'll be eating for lunch tomorrow while at work. All right, guys, so we got some stuff done. Uh, here is the asparagus and mushrooms. It's looking good. It's probably a little bit less than I need, but you know, can always make some more later. Here we have the pork finished with all of the nice little uh, pork fat that cooked out, which looks disgusting, but it is what it is. Uh, the chicken crisped up amazing. This chicken that I got is like some super organic, like grass-fed, just some A1 chicken breast right here. And then the ground beef is done as well. We still have the potatoes going, cooking away in there. They're not even, not even close. And then the rice, I started going on the rice. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna finish cooking up here and I will be back with a two awesome meal prep meal meal, meal prep, meal, prepped meal prep, meal examples. Guys, another thing that I really recommend, a, a huge uh, tip that will help bland white rice be more enjoyable, is to put about a teaspoon of butter along with some garlic powder in there. And that's definitely a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, so make sure you put a tablespoon in there and then mix it all together. 
this is a tablespoon of vegetable spread. It's not butter. It's 45 calories and mixed throughout the whole thing. There's four servings in here, so it's not exactly going to impact your calories all that much. It's going to add an extra 10 calories, which if you're getting that anal about counting, uh, you should probably take a step back, but this is awesome. The potatoes are almost done and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys. I'm really excited for the finished product. All right, guys, there you have it. So this is everything that I cooked today, except for uh, the potatoes. Some of them weren't finished, but I've got two meals here that are awesome examples of some meals that you can make. So this first one is what I'm gonna be eating for lunch today. This is a serving of spinach, four ounces of sweet potatoes, five and a half ounces of chicken, and two servings of Bolt House Farms creamy Caesar Greek yogurt dressing. And this is an example of a meal prep meal that I'm gonna be having for lunch this week. So this is a serving of basmati rice, mushrooms, asparagus, five ounces of ground 93.7 ground beef, and then a couple ounces of gold potatoes right here. So a couple tips uh, for meal prep. First off, invest in a food scale. This one was like $15 on Amazon, totally worth every penny and more. Number two, invest in a ton of Tupperware because you're gonna need it. Number three, be constantly looking for different options for meal prep that fill your goals. So for instance, if you're on a cut, look for low calorie items. Even if you're on a bulk, I so I, I sit right at maintenance and I look for lower calorie options such as this Greek yogurt dressing. That's about a quarter of the calories of regular Caesar dressing. And I look for substitutions that I can make so that I can eat and enjoy more food. And I think that we could all use uh, with a little bit more enjoying of our food. So guys, that's gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys have any questions, if you wanna see any more of this kind of how-to uh, meal prep, stuff like that, if you guys want uh, some more more kitchen related videos, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Go ahead and drop this video a like uh, if you enjoyed it. It would mean the world to me. Uh, I'm just out here doing something that I love and to know that you guys are enjoying it, I would really appreciate it. And then go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna see more videos like this. And uh, I will catch you guys later.